Hello my wonderful pair of bears and welcome back to Gaming with Shelly and we are starting off today with a brand new let's play and I have been doing research on this one for weeks and I have some very interesting facts for you like in the Decades Challenge, we are starting off in the 1890s. Now, if you're like me, you didn't know much about what everything was like back in the 1890s. There was lower class people, and there was middle class, and then there was the upper class. Now, because we're in the 1890s, and this is going to be the first um, Sims that we play with when it comes to this, we are going to be, of course, starting as um, lower class, who are building our ways up, and we are going to make way for the future for our children. Now, guys, there is a couple of rules to this challenge, and I'm going to run through it witchy. But first off, I um, I did so much research that I landed on the Ingalls family um, that were in or around this time period. And anyone who has been a fan of The Little House on a Prairie since they were young will know what kind of uh, way I am going. I even tried to design the house a little bit like the old Ingalls home as well. Didn't do a great job in it, but we are just starting the challenge off, so I didn't want to put too much in it. But I was able to use lanterns. And because of the patch off the grid, we were able to do a lot of things off the grid. Except for the fridge and the cooker that we are allowed to have. So... We had to start off with a lot, and all together it had to cost 16k. Now the house only cost me 2k to build with a few little bits in it and stuff, and the land was 8, so we still had a lot left. But I used that in order to kind of build a loft room, but there's no furniture in the loft. I'm going to run you through. Yeah, he looks very angry with her, doesn't he, guys? She broke his heart. It took a few times for the elopement to stick. Okay, <laughs> that's the way I'm doing this. Not everybody enters into marriage willingly. So this is the loft area because um, this will be the kids' bedroom. And I fenced it off. It took me a while for me to figure out the loft part of this. I'm not very great with the loft, guys. I'm not great at all. And then I've got like this little walkthrough, no door, no not, and it's just walkthrough. Um, can we go down? Thank you. All right, so it's just got a cheap fridge and a cheap oven because it says we can have this. Okay, so we start off with 16K. And I think if I go into this, it will tell us how much our yoke cost. I'm not sure. Lot value is 26,000. Okay, I may fix that. Okay, I've done something wrong. But we'll figure it out as we go along. I am new to this just like ye all are. I'm not doing a pints system because it just seems like it's a fun challenge to play. And I'm not going to be doing it for pints. I'm just doing it for fun. So, we can have no electricity and it has to be off the grid. We have to have an outhouse. So, like an outside toilet, bathtub, and it can be only wooden furniture in your house. This is obviously brick, but they had a lot of brick back then. And everything else is wooden. So we've got like the wooden tits. I even gave her a rocking chair because they like to sew and everything back in those days. Wooden bath, wooden sink area. And then I gave them like, because I couldn't get the whole, do you know, like it's just like a little area with a hole in it. I couldn't do that. So I just went for this thing because it doesn't really look like a toilet, it just looked like a basin. And I got the wooden bin outside the back door for them. And then we have a massive massive land which I want to fill the whole back of it with trees so if I can figure out how to do that without it costing me money I will be extremely happy nobody can enter our land except for us um so I'm gonna go out of this now for a second we can only have a stove and a fridge and they have to be the cheapest ones and I gave her the cheapest ones okay um Children born at home, and there's no bottle feeding, only breastfeeding. Um, I originally downloaded a house, but then I realized I wanted to build my own. So um, I will sh I will link the person I downloaded the original house from, and then I will upload mine as well as give you my origin ID if you want to kind of make this house your own. If you do make it your own, please tag me. I would love to see the way that you all do it. So... Right, um, 
it has to be a young adult and they have to be married. I had them elope and they have 300 um, simoleons as a gift from um, her parents, her parents and his parents um, for him to start off his farmland. I was going to give him a job. I was. Um, I previously, when I started this, I was going to give him a job. Um, but I decided that if we are starting from the ground up, wouldn't we want to, um, why would it not let me open her sim profile? Okay. He's heartbroken from her, yet they are actually married. Okay. Ask for reassurance. That's what, why is it there? They're there to, to make sure that their husbands are okay. As long as they, I, I want to know what this court thing is. Proposed scandalous question. Okay. So anytime they woohoo, it has to be to try for a baby. So I'm going to have, um, Charles and Caroline, if you recognize the names, uh, try for a baby. I'm going to pop that in her inventory so she could be knitting. Um, I'm going to have her learning the knitting skill. So only male heirs will get the inheritance. Females will have to mar move out once they are married, but they cannot move out until they are married. I have a woodworking table here so he can build some furniture. I know when you get to a certain point, you can, there we go, off we pop, guys, off we pop. So, they don't know anybody else, okay, they've left their home, uh, the reason I have moved them to Newcrest is because it's full of blank lots, and um, it just means that we can, each heir can um, build their own kind of home, but they're all close by and we'll be able to see the, do you know, like the transformation from the start right up until the finish. And we are. So here is a fun fact for you. The 1819s, which was pronounced 1890s, it's still the same, was a decade of the Georgian calendar that began on January 1st, 1890 and ended on December 31st, 1899. It was the 10th and last decade of the 19th century. There is a fun fact bit for you. I'm going to be doing fun facts with every single episode. And I hope you guys will enjoy learning about this. No, no, no. Go away, college. We don't want to go. Okay, there was no college for women back in those days. So, the only professions that the men had back in then was doctor. Alright, hold on. I think a doctor, a solicitor or something. And when I did the, re like, this wasn't in the original rules, but when I looked online what professions were available for men back in the 1890s, a teacher did come up and I was going to give him the teacher career. But then I'm kind of like, no, we're going to start off normal. We're going to start off with just, you know. <laughs> I can't even get the words out, guys. But yeah, all right, I'm going to show you the front of the house too. I tried to get as close to it as it possibly could, but this is The Sims, guys, and I can't promise that it'll always look the same. But this is what we are starting. This is our like our blank canvas, and by the time we get to the next um, the next era with the fir like the firstborn heir, male heir, um, we're hoping to this to change a little bit. But it's for every thousand that we get that we will do something new, um, to it like. The first goal I want is I want to get Caroline some flowers out the front and have our plants um, here. And I kind of started drawing out the land. So we're going to use the 300 simoleons as a gift from their parents to get some seed packets. And we're just going to start with some basic seeds. Here we are. Okay. So we're going to have some flowers. Um, I'm going to get a few starter fruits. Okay. And then a few starter herbs and vegetables. Uh, we don't need magical yolks. And then I'm thinking like, um, actually no, we're going to get him build her little pots and stuff like that with the gardening skill. But um, yeah, we're just going to kind of um, have him open all these seed packets. And we are going to get started on our wonderful, wonderful plot plot of land. Okay, you don't have to wake her up. Just go straight to the seed packets. Hi, Caroline. She's going to knit. So can you get up, please, and knit some beanies? And um, we'll get your knit skill up. Are you stuck? I think he's stuck. Are you stuck? Oh my god, 
good. Yeah, okay, okay. He doesn't have to actually go outside to open the seed packets. Okay, and Caroline is doing some knitting. Okay. Right, okay, let's see what seeds we have. Right, okay. So, we are going to start... Um, what are you? You're a taro root. All right, let's start with some carrots. Don't mind my aim. It is ca catastrophic. Then we're going to do some mushrooms here. See, this is not too bad, okay. And then we're going to do some peppers here. Actually, should I check and see what plants they had back then? Um, okay. So I did my research on what were the most popular names, blah, blah, blah. And, um... Caroline and Charles came up, but we also got Margaret, um, James, and the surnames were things like Kelly, Murphy, and all that. And I already have a Kelly in one of my series. So I decided we're going to go with Sullivan because you don't hear it that much. Okay, so I know potatoes. Um, potatoes are always have always been a big thing, but we're not in Ireland. I am basing this in Minnesota. Um, wheat, barley, oats, rice, corn, vegetables, and more. Okay. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, we can do all of this. Pepper is a class as a vegetable. Then we're going to do some herbs over here. Although, I'm kind of thinking a herb garden actually should be at the back of the house. Do you know, like, just behind the kitchen? Actually, I'll just take these all back. Okay, so spinach, yeah. There we go. Spinach, holly. All right, put you, put you here. And then we're gonna just um. This section here, for apple trees. Okay, these kids are not gonna want for anything. And we've got some chrysanthemums as well. Um, we're gonna. All right, he's gonna surprise her with chrysanthemums. Okay, we've got some banana trees as well. Or should I say plantain trees? But we all know what they are, okay? None of us are bosh here. Wow, there is a lot of these trees. And then we've got grapes. So, um, one, two, three. Parsley, basil, and sage will be planted um, by the house. So I'm going to have him start planting. Okay. And then when he has everything planted and we've got our little thing up and going, she's knitting. And then I'm going to have her start to cook. That You can cook some dinner, can't you, my dear? All right, okay. So let's go with something like... Okay, 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 okay. Wow, okay. I can't find that in there. Um, cook. Because back then they used to have, like, proper dinners, didn't they? Like big dinners every day so this will be classed as a grand meal we don't have enough money for that okay did I spend too much I did okay uh, you can serve lunch and let it be we're just gonna do that just pretend it's like um okay she's level two knitting already look at our queen guys look at our queen and these are things like that she can, oh, we're pregnant as well, but we cannot do a pregnancy test because um, they didn't have them back then. All right, you need to keep planting, dude. Keep planting. So I'm thinking we should be giving him, like, um, the reason I gave the overalls and the shirt and thing is because I was looking at Charles Ingle from the little prairie, house in the prairie, and he wore, like, a shirt and, you know, like, suspender kind of trousers the whole time out um when he was farming and stuff like that and then he had a very upper class kind of outfit for when they had a formal occasion or a party the hairdo i gave her is because one of the laura ingles hairstyles was like that they i just gave her comfy casual i know they have night dresses but i didn't want to give her a night dress okay she's cooking and she's gonna go to the bathroom okay so we're not actually going to be selling these okay we're actually just going to be adding them to the wardrobe um, she's going to be knitting what we can and then when she gets her skill up you can knit beanies and toddler toddler outfits and onesies for the babies and 
we need 20 simoleons, we've only got 19. I might have to give him a part-time job if I can. Back in the olden days, if they needed the extra cash, they would get hired as a, a laborer. Now we do have a job in this as a laborer, but it's a weekend job. So we might actually do that like for weekends. It's like laborer, they get extra money at the weekend. That's the only thing we can do. And then we can sell um, collectibles and stuff that he finds. So I'll have him go and I'm collecting collectibles. That's the only way we're going to get money until our, our farm starts to prosper. Prosper becomes prosperous sorry <laughs> um so we'll just have him collecting collectibles um they're not going to make a lot of friends in the first uh, couple of episodes because it's all about the grind and making sure that they don't starve that's the way i see it um can you just put that away so uh, a little thing i'm putting into the game as well is that she can only cook a breakfast uh, party size serving, a lunch one and a dinner one and they have to at the end of each sim week. Um, Charles come back please, or you can go to the toilet but then you gotta come back here and you gotta finish planting because um, you know that's the way it is. Hydrate guys! finally managed to get some um oh she's helping this was a totally autonomous she helped that's actually pretty cool um i could get her to help with watering so this could be kind of like a giant effort okay so we've got like feeling a close connection can we check actually his sim profile now oh my god please don't tell me my the game has broke Mm. Okay, we can do that. We can do it after. So, but he is genuinely one hundred percent happy. Look, shared lot, shared joy, just married, and we're already planting seeds that our family bought for us. Okay, so pretty much any time we have them do like the little fun things, um, they have to. It has to always be try for a baby and we can't take a pregnancy test because they didn't have them back then so we can only we'll find out like when stuff like but like when things like this oh the throw up thing is not on this oh it's wrong wrong sim oh it's not on this either all right we're gonna just have to wait and see aren't we guys she is getting like extremely tired so gonna have her go to sleep I might move this dresser down one square um just to make sure that uh, Charles doesn't get stuck or Caroline doesn't get stuck so um I can't wait until we start you know getting some progress I, I love progress guys I should have got her a little sink Okay, so she's a level two gardening now from watering. Okay. Why did you do this to me? This is all crooked. Oh, frickin' heck. I hate that so much. Okay. I'm just going to put on BB move objects so everything will line up for me. And that's the way it goes. Alright, okay, so let's move everything across one square can even this all up oh my god why did you do this to me my OCD is kicking in okay and you over here they're not even centered why do you do this to me why 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 okay all right can we put you up into the middle of everything Um, oh, so he's kicking in. Yeah, they're not I'm not happy with this. I know she watered them, but when you move them, it just kind of, um, okay. Do this and, uh, okay. 
we can fix this. Uh, we will fix that. We will fix that. All right, okay. That's all I'm doing because we've only got 19 smallions in the world. And unless she starts making money somehow. That's all we've got. Okay, so we're going to put these all on auto because of the fact we don't want to waste out the, what is it, like paraffin or something that was put into these oil lamps to keep them. Yes, I got oil lamps. I did my research, I promise. Okay. So when he wakes up in the morning, we're going to have him find a part-time job. He's very happy. Okay, so we need a manual labourer. Now, it's only weekend work, so that's fine. Um, But they were hired, you know, I kind of like off the books and stuff like that. Um, I thought we collected stuff. But apparently my computer automatically said, no, you don't need to do that. Unless he collected them and I just didn't notice. No, he didn't. I knew it. See, I knew I wasn't going crazy. Mushrooms and stuff like that. Alright, so like the fun part about this is it's all about the struggle. Everything is struggle. Nothing is ever easy in life. So you're better off playing it as, why, what is this? Are you just gonna leave that back there? Okay, I'm not sure. Just gonna use that. Okay, that's all we can do. Okay, what did we get? We got a fossil. Let's extract that fossil. We got a fossilized egg. It's 70 it's millions. Bye bye. There we go. He sold some fossils to the local museum and they gave him a little bit of money just for his troubles. Because they seemed like he was down on his luck. What are you wearing? What is this outfit? We got a time capsule. Open it up. We got a little chef Gino. But we can say we sold this in the local fair and the local um bar owner liked it. Uh, you can get off that if you're not meant to have one. If you're not meant to have a video game is filled either. Um alright, but we can use some of that money that you just um, made. What's this? Be your grunge. Come take a bath then. Okay. So, um, you can go and spend some of that money now making a knife block for the kitchen. And we'll let her knit socks for Charles. Let's do, um, the grey dotted ones. Okay. How's she doing? She likes the fire and she likes the rocking chair. I actually love the fact that I got her a rocking chair. Okay, Charles. You can come and give her the gift that you just made for her. Give her the gift. Friendly gift. Alright, we'll give her a romantic gift, actually. Hold on. Okay, do we have the option to give a romantic gift? Yes, we do. Give her the knife block that you just made for her. She's going to give you the socks that she's made for you. Okay, you have your bath, good boy, yourself. Now, did we water all of these? They were all watered. That's awesome. Uh, right, okay. So, like, things like this, like, yeah, free dates. Like, going to the park together. And we've got this little playground here for the kids, even though the kids don't really, wouldn't really I harvest mushrooms. Harvest the strawberries. Going to plant them in our garden. Very much. Um, he can bring her to, like, and it's free. And he's like kind of, he has the romance aspiration. Let's go through their aspirations, okay? He's domestic because, of course, he loves his family. He's family oriented, he's romantic and ambitious. I gave him the, su sec the successful <laughs> lineage one because he wants successful children, and I gave her the big happy family one. So they both have a, a family aspiration, which is what I love. Because, you know, they're cute. That's what you want. bananas and stuff if they're out of season. Ooh, you got more stuff that you can go and dig. Ooh, snapdragons. I freaking love snapdragons. Why? Because we get a lot of money from snapdragons. Always harvest mushrooms, collect frogs. Frog is a free pet. <laughs> Although I would like them to have a, a pet. We might talk about that in the comments, guys about maybe getting them a farm pet. There is actually 
people who create animals that look like um, sheep and cows and stuff. Um, and there is a mod or like a farming one. So you might try that out, you know, where you can harvest milk and things like that. Um, Sold this to the scrap the local scrapyard and the, well scrapped whatever it used to be back then and they took it. We don't need these upgrade parts. But we have got lots of stuff. Ooh, give your wife give your wife a beautiful a pretty stone. Get off the phone. <laughs> okay, she's awake and she's cooking. Is it for more than one person? It is no, she meant herself mac and cheese. Okay, you are making food that we don't need. And is hungry. Okay. So Charlie, 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 Charlie boy. Get off the phone. <laughs> right, what are these again? Grapes. Okay, and then we're gonna put strawberry, 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 strawberry. Um, strawberry. How many strawberries have we got? Strawberry. Okay. Uh keep it standard right, mushrooms. Okay. Mushrooms. All mushrooms. Oh wow, there's lots of mushrooms. Okay. Um. Right. Okay. We're gonna start on her little flower thing here. Um. He's gonna surprise her with a little flower garden that she can look after herself. Um. Can you please come home? And you're going to plant. Thank you. Oh, wait. I just realized what I was going to do with them. He's going to make the flower box yolks for her. And we're going to do the front of the house for her with them. And he's going to surprise them for her before the birth of their first child. Intro birth. Okay. Did you need to come home and go to the toilet before you pee your pants? And then you're going to have to come and you've got a lot of planting to do. Okay, so she is definitely looking after herself. That's the way to have it. <laughs> okay, girl. How about we get you to knit again? Get some objects. Ooh, a mailbox cozy. Why not? Go on. It's not too bad. Okay, once he's gone to the toilet and done some planting, I'm gonna get him to no, he's too uncomfortable. He's gonna go home in and he's gonna grab whatever like leftovers. She is she's had a blast for time. She loves this rocking chair. I think this is a good call, guys, getting the rocking chair. Karen is family oriented, family oriented and happiest around family. Okay. Oh, she's missing him. Okay. Dude, did you plant? Or did you just totally ignore me? Right, go have some food, but then you're going to have to plant. Oh my god, don't waste that. Don't waste it. Don't waste it. Are you for real? That was a weird noise. I don't know what that noise was, but that was a weird noise. Uh, okay, so she's knitting. Um, he needs amusement and he is hungry. Okay, I don't care. Please go and eat. She needs. Okay. <laughs> Alright, okay. So, we did a cozy. Oh, she didn't finish it, did she? Oh, she did. Okay, can we change that? Oh my god, so cute. That's freaking cute. Okay. Let's pop it here. Okay. How is she feeling? Does she still have the throw-up option? No, she doesn't. Okay, well, it's time for some more, you know, fun activities. So... More of the rules for this challenge is a white sim can only marry a white sim. I'm sorry, but like 
this is actually one of the reasons I didn't want to do this challenge. I found it very um controversial. But at the same time, I'm like, it'd be nice to see what the kind of um what it was like back then to what it is now and if it has changed much. And for a lot of us, we don't know about a lot of stuff that went back there. Now, I won't talk much about it on this channel because it's too much of a controversial uh, topic and I don't want anybody to get mad at me. <laughs> Look at her flying out to help him plant. That's that's a cute bean. She's a cute bean. How are you doing, doll? The take the pregnancy testing is still an option. Oh, a special connection. It's still not letting us do anything. It won't let us open the same file. So I'm thinking my game is broke. So, um, you always wash your hands. You have a picture of a nappy above your head. She's a picture of a nappy above her head. Did you see that? Um, can we knit anything? Um, you. Oh, we can knit a rug. We're going to go for something like um, a yellow rug because we're going to say she used straw to do that. We're going to say she used straw. Okay, so you need to get your butt back up out of bed. Um, it's too early for you to be going to bed. And you're going to plant, okay? Plant until your little heart's content. And then we're going to have you come here and see if you can craft something new. It's ridiculous. Okay. I don't think I'll be happy until I see that she's pregnant. Like, she never gets sad unless she hasn't seen him for a while. I still want her to give him a gift. Um, I want her to give him the socks that she knitted. And then I want him to give her... The knife block. Wow, she's level five knitting already. That's insane to me. And he's going to give her um this and this. Okay. Let's go, my guys. Let's go, my cuties. It's not as bad. I think the more research I do in it, and I can follow it a little bit better, the better I feel about doing the challenge. If you know what I mean. Um so in this um in this part we have to try and get a cow plant because we need it for the next era. Ooh, we got our we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it, we got it. Oh my god, isn't that cute guys? Look at that. Look there. Looks like she just knitted it from straw. Okay. Did she get it? No, okay. Are you going to give her hers now? Yeah, you are. <gasps> he gave her a rose. Where'd you get the rose from? Where'd you get the rose from? Oh. Charles gave Caroline a thoughtful gift along with an expression of love. I will always be here for you each and every day. My love for you will continue to grow forever. The gift can be found in Caroline's inventory. It's a rose. Where is the knife block? Freeze. Okay. You need to give her the knife block you made her. I know you just gave her a rose, but please give her the knife block. Okay, and then she can put it up in her kitchen and tell her friends that her husband made it for her. It's so cute. Aww. Did she like it? Oh my god, she loved it. Giving spirit, giving spirit. I want them to do like a couple of interactions. What's this court one? Oh, okay. So here's the knife block. He made her. Off the goes. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, oh sweetheart, you need to go to the toilet. Oh, we got the throw up option. We got the throw up option. But no pregnancy option. 
you don't come near the house. Don't come near the house. Don't, 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 don't. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to have them two go off to bed. That's the best way to go. Now how is all of our planties going? He didn't plant them all. But when he does, we're going to get him to plant and water them all. Um, and I have her going off to bed now as well. So hopefully when she wakes up in the morning, um, she will pretty much be pregnant. Oh, ha, ha. he's up and he's doing some planting. I got all the strawberries as well, Charles. Okay, she is still having a nice old snooze. I'm going to have her now get up. She needs to make a breakfast for the week. And it's eggs and toast. I'm going to see if we can get chickens in this as well. I'm a massive fan of Little House on the Prairie and I remember her having chickens and goats and little Laurel um Lorelai Ingalls she had she had um what was that? Oh my god, I'll remember the name now and a raccoon. She had a pet raccoon. So she did. Absolute pet raccoon. Okay, I like it that way, it's better. And when she's done that's the breakfasts for the week done. Um, we're just going to have her niche some more stuff. Alright, we got the rug. Right, we don't have enough to knit a rug. Um, clothing. All she can do is sweater. We don't have enough for sweater, but... Um, there's no nice ones that would fit in with the, the challenge. So I'm gonna have her bake some bread. All right, let her do bread sticks because it's not giving me the option to do bread yet. And when he's finished, I'm gonna have him going and um, harvesting stuff as well because it's just what we do now. It's what we do on the days that, um, you know, we're not working. <laughs> And it's going to help anyways with the farming and things like that. So I don't care too much. Do you guys? I don't care. Do you care? If you care, do I care? <laughs> okay. So I like the whole just vibing. Hey, Charles, you'd love No, 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 Okay. So she is dealing with things. She is... Emotionally mindful. All right, oh, and they can go jogging for fun as well. But I might have her go for a mindful walk. Why don't you go for a mindful walk while Charles is um collecting things? I I forgot to get him to harvest snapdragons. Oh, he can fish as well. Why don't we get him just to go fishing for the day? And she can have her little mindful walk. Have we any pushed? No, but I have a kazoo keeps moving. I might not actually get her to I might not leave her there. Let's hold on. Let's do this. Okay, in we go. Can you not go into her inventory? No? Alright, what if I did this way? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Off you go for your walk, good girl. Okay. Uh, let's see what our bills are going to be like. That's not too bad. Store. And we'll store that as well. Um, because we don't really do much. Alright, he's gone fishing. She's gone for her walk. It's awesome. Alright, so we have no na, no money left. Not a da, not a bit. Geekcon is in town, but we can't go. Um. Okay, so he. I don't know where he got roses from, but he gave her roses. Add these to the wardrobe so you can change into them. He sold them to a friend. He brought that to a local museum and they took that away. He didn't want this, so he gave it to his friend who found some money and gave Charles a little bit out of it. Um, this is going to be our first pet because frogs have been around for a very long time. Um, so I'm going to pop that up there on the dresser. And then we're going to pop the rose up there. Oh wait, no, that's not the one Charles gave her. <coughs> that 
is um, right there. I'll just pop that back in Charles inventory. Okay, so this is all she has in hers, and he's got loads. We've got fish. Let's put that in the fridge. We've got loads of flowers, taro root. We're gonna pop that in the fridge too, and we've enough strawberries to so pop them in. So that's cool. We can. And we can plant all these when Charles has enough money to craft things. Okay, so we'll pop her sculpture only because of the fact that, um, there we go. Back then, they used to fish all the time. We're gonna put that in the fridge as well. Okay, so she's got like there's enough in that fridge now, they shouldn't cook anything for a while. Um, how are our plants coming? These all doing okay. They're all watered. I will fix the garden and stuff like that up off off camera. But for now, for now, okay, you can go on home, my dear. Go home. Can I girl go home? Right, yeah, go home. Good girl. So, how far did she walk away from? warm yourself up no don't put out don't put out don't put out just warm yourself okay all right you can actually knit now because we have enough money you want to knit a sweater okay let's go for i'm gonna say um the, this one and say she dyed some wool it's the best way to go Charles, you can come home and do some woodworking. Level tree fishing. That's my boy. Okay, I still see no signs of our girl being pregnant. Which is a bummer, to be honest. I would like to see if she's pregnant or not. Um, I don't know how we're going to find out. Can we woohoo? We can still try for baby. Okay, so I think like for the start of this episode, we're doing okay. We have started our little farm. We have the bones of the house done. We've got a good solid crop going on here. I will get him to do a little bit more scavenging off camera um, before the next episode. Or I might just do it all on so we can keep on track with everything. Oh! Wait, wait, what, what, what? <gasps> no way, guys, look. I was just going to end the episode. She's pregnant. Yes. Oh, my God, guys. She's pregnant with the first baby. That's brilliant. I'm hoping, like, all the kinks are after working out now on my, my computer. Can we do this yet? Oh my god, this is brilliant. It still won't let me check sim profile, but it's fine, it's fine. They are going to be parents, and I would prefer if you, my boy, were in your, you know, a proper outfit, so I could be happy and jump up for that joy. Stop. Are you okay, my girl? Okay, why are you blue? Okay, that's, that's, um, that's a bit weird. Um, oh, look at that. Look at this. Our girl is pregnant. She doesn't have her pregnant belly yet. Um, he is just contemplating life right now, as you can tell. <laughs> oh, my God, they turned the back to each other, as in, I'm not sure this is what I want. And... She is uh, pretty much the same right now, guys. But yeah, we're going to end the episode right here. We've got the bones of our little uh, prairie coming together. My aim will be, of course, to have trees all at the back of it so you can block out the rest of the area. Um, but for now, that is the end of the first episode of the Decades Challenge. And I hope you guys love this as much as I did for recording it for you. So... If you're new to the channel, I want to welcome you to the Pear Bear Squad. 
And if you haven't already, make sure you've clicked that subscribe button and turned on that notification bell so you're told every time I upload a new episode. And I shall see you in another one. Bye!